Hey guys, in this video, I'll be demoing what I basically did for this week's uh, Open Source Fridays. So in this particular week, I actually created a plugin for the compass icons. And let me just go ahead and actually include a button. So let's just include a button here and let's just also include an icon button here. So as you can see, we have these two uh, buttons. And now let's say, let me just go ahead and enable one of the icons on the, on the button itself. Let's just make it a slightly larger one. Let's make this larger as well. So here we have these two buttons. And let's say um, if I actually wanted to change them, I can just go to, to the plugin. Um, so I currently have this plugin under development. But once I publish it, obviously you would be able to access it. So let's say you open it. And now one thing great about this plugin is it's actually sourcing from the GitHub repository that we created. So uh, ideally this is mostly going to be, uh, mostly going to stay updated and you don't have to update it manually if the HTML structure for the page remains pretty similar. So now if you wanna let's say actually update um, any of this, like you can actually click on this, but let's say if you click on it, it says please select the text layer. So you have to just select the text layer in order to do it. If I type some text and then I add it, obviously the icon gets, gets up updated. And similarly, for example, if I actually go to an icon here, I can basically choose whatever. And as you can see, it also preserves the state. So if this particular state, let me just move this to the left. If this particular state is, let's say, destructive, and then I'm, let's say, updating any of the icons here, as you can see, the color doesn't get replaced, the font stays the same as well. And similarly here, you can easily go ahead and change these. I have also implemented search in there. So let's say if I just want to um, search for a specific icon, I can do that and I can just add it with a click of a button. I can obviously select multiple text uh, fields to actually add it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. 